Hello Nerdfighteria, it's Tuesday and today I'll be sharing some Olympic fun facts along with some photos from my visit to the Olympic Museum in Lausanne, Switzerland. It's one of my favorite museums and I recommend going if you are in the area. Before we get into it, I want to acknowledge that there are some dark and troubling parts to the Games and the IOC, but I won't get into those today because I want to keep it light and fun. Now let's get started with some historical fun facts. In ancient Greece, there are games dedicated to many different gods. The games in Olympia, the Olympics, were dedicated to Zeus, while the Pythian games, for example, were dedicated to Apollo. The Olympic revival movement in the late 19th and earliest 20th century was led by Pierre de Coubertin, who is considered the father of the modern games. He died in 1937, and while his body is buried in Lausanne, the modern Olympic capital, his heart is buried in Athens. The first modern games took place in 1896 in Athens and have been held every four years ever since, with the exception of a couple editions cancelled or postponed due to war or pandemic. The games have been held on every continent except Africa and Antarctica. The only city to have hosted the games for both the summer and winter editions is Beijing. A handful of cities have hosted the games twice, with only London hosting them three times, though Paris will join that club soon, and Los Angeles will host for a third time in 2028. Now let's move on to some facts about the symbols of the games. Everyone recognizes the Olympic rings, but did you know that they were first designed in 1913 by Pierre de Coubertin? However, the order of the colors was only officially determined in 1957. From 1986 to 2010, the official version of the rings included some white space so that the colors wouldn't touch to account for the printer technology of the times. In addition to the general Olympic symbols, each edition of the games has their own, such as a mascot. The first games to have a mascot was the 1968 Grenoble Winter Games with the mascot Schuss, which in my opinion is a pretty great mascot. The mascots are also an excellent way to get tourists to buy all sorts of memorabilia. Another important Olympic symbol is the torch. Each edition designs their own torch, which is lit in at the Temple of Hera in Athens in a ceremony involving 11 women dressed as Vestal Virgins. The torch is lit using a mirror and the sunlight. It then travels around the world and tours the host country with the important condition that the flame must never go out. The tallest Olympic torch was for the Lillehammer Games in 1994, which measures a meter 52 or almost 5 feet. Now let's get to the main event of the games, the sports. While there are some sports such as fencing or athletics which have been present at all editions of the Summer Olympics, many others have been added or removed depending on their popularity. For example, tug of war was only included from 1900 to 1920. From 1912 to 1948, the games included artistic events, notably music composition, which was judged solely based on the sheet music, painting, literature, sculpture and architecture. Unusual sporting events include ice hockey and skating at the 1920 Summer Games, or the equestrian events for the 1956 Melbourne Games, which were held in Stockholm a couple of months ahead of time. After the event, the best performances are rewarded with the medals. However, this has not always been the case. In the ancient games, the winners received an olive wreath and a red ribbon and a palm branch. In 1896, the winner received a silver medal and the second place received bronze. Then in 1900, the top three winners received art. All subsequent editions have included the traditional gold, silver and bronze medals. The medals for the summer games are strictly codified. They must include Nike, the goddess of victory, on one side. However, the medals for the winter games are entirely up to the organizers to design, which is why there is a wider variety, including ring-shaped medals or crystal embedded in the medals. There are many more Olympic facts I would have liked to share, but I can only fit so many into four minutes. So see you next time, and in the meanwhile, DFTBA.